Here we are at the job site in San Francisco on San Francisco uh, Bay. This is high tide and uh, these aqua dams have been here for at least 60 days if not 90. But they're too small to make a coffer dam so we had to get a larger aqua dam and um, which is on the truck and we're going to put it right out through here. This is the work area. Sixteen foot high by uh, 570 foot long aqua dam. We've got eight six inch pumps ready to go right down here. Big undertaking. suction hoses out into the bay. The water uh, at high tide, I uh, don't know how high of a high tide this is today, but um, certainly you can see the whole dam moving there with the rhythm of, uh, of something. Great. We like water. To put it in an aqua dam, we like water. And, uh, Tomorrow we'll have lots of water. We're just preparing the dam at this point. You gotta position the uh, equipment because it's pretty tight spaced. The two orange uh, pieces of equipment, uh, telehandlers will uh, push the dam off. At each end of the trailer, there's a log. Uh, of course, the dam comes with a log rolled up on a log as a core, and they'll push on the core and that'll uh, roll the dam off the trailer. The bank we're going to start off of. This machine is going to push right on the end of the log. And this machine is going to push on this end of the log at the same time and the dam will simply roll off. That's how you unload an aqua dam weighing about 30,000 pounds. That was our safety, was the bucket in case the aqua dam wanted to keep unrolling. Well, I missed the unrolling of it down the hill, the exciting part. So, uh, well, there we go. So the dam is in the water. It's lined out basically where we want to go. And uh, we're going to see if we, no, we'll never get that out there. So uh, we're going to call her good right here. Well, the tide's going out now. It's probably dropped uh, six inches. The aqua dam's ready to roll for tomorrow, pumping. We got the hoses in there, we're ready to roll. So, um, We we're using seven six inch pumps. One's a backup, so there'll be three in each side. If one goes down, then we've got a backup. We gotta pull the, the hose in and over the edge by uh, two to three feet. 
We got one more uh, hose to put in this side. Had to uh, set the end of this bag. It was a double close in the dam, so the water will drain out. So uh, the big dam can go right over the top of it. So we cut about a one foot hole there, right at the end of the dam. The roll is barely moving, but it's moving right according to plan. The rope's pulling it to keep the log straight. Because uh, this dam wants to, uh, it wants to push off this dam that I'm standing on. A little bit more. There it goes. All right. We're hooking a rope to the end of the, the log, the core, so we can make this turn. We've got four six inch pumps running now. Now that we've made our turn, we have uh, did have just two pumps running on this side, no pumps running on this side, and uh, now that we made the turn, we've turned uh, the pumps back on so that they each tube fills uh, evenly and we'll have to make up for uh, less water in the one side after we get to the bank over there but that, that that's a later maneuver water's coming out being displaced by this other dam going over the top of it that's forcing the water out. Shells have already started growing and planting themselves in this aqua dam. It's been floating there for two months and um, well things start growing on it. And you can see the, uh, if you leave that in a year, oh this thing would be covered in, uh, well I don't even know what they are, they got shells. Well, we made it to the bank. We've got 35 feet left on the roll. It was a 570 foot long aqua dam. Just pump time now. We got six, uh, six inch pumps running. It's gonna go fast. Of course, we, we gotta be fast because the tide's going out. One side of the aqua dam, the water's dropping on. That'd be the right side. And the left side, it's uh, staying, uh, uh, where it is because it can't get out anymore so there's not going to be any more draining of water on the inside of the work area unless they pump it and um, of course they have plenty of pumping power to do that with but the dam is filling up quickly because of the uh, pumping power and we got to beat the tide the tides going out the inside is higher the water depth is higher than the outside and uh, that's why we have to uh, put water in it quickly is because we got to be ahead of that tidal uh, change in water depth from one side to the other side and um, well we've done that and uh, it looks great you can see San Francisco off in the distance there the skyscrapers The aqua dam's rolling up the bank, so it's a good two feet higher than the surrounding water on this side. But this is uh, the greater uh, San Francisco Bay side, and it's going down because of low tides coming up. 
but it's a very small low tide so there should be water here to pump for those pumps to uh, keep filling this dam up and um, they're not supposed to run out of water because they pick the day to do this when the tidal conditions were ideal for the ins installation of an aqua dam we need water at low tide so um, uh, normal low tide, this is all a mud flat. Boy, this one right here fits great. That'll help support uh, this uh, dam. They're going to set up a couple pumps to start dewatering the inside area. Here's the end of the aqua dam. Starting to come off the log it's rolled on. They had to put these sandbags here because this is a big concrete something underneath of it. Uh, so we didn't want to go over that so they sandbagged it, which is great. The log is wrapped in geotextile uh, material also has bark on it and we didn't want the bark to drop off in the water so we covered it up. The beam here, our log, is crucial in taking out the aqua dam. It's got to get wound back up on it. it. Needs to be a sturdy, sturdy log. Depending on the size of aqua dam, of course. There's the other end of uh, the log or beam that it came on. A lot of mud pushed up. The water on the outside is several feet higher than the water on the inside, which the pump is uh, pumping out. This is uh, the next day, morning, about 9.30. Water's going down fast. They got one six inch pump running. They ran it for four hours uh, yesterday and they're running it for up to, uh, well it's already been three hours today. These are the old railroad tracks that the uh, cart that the ship sat on when it was pulled up out of the water. These are the rails uh, the cart was on. And uh, of course it silted in over time, but this was a going concern in uh, the 1800s and the early 1900s. The aqua dam pushed up all this mud off the bottom, settling into it. And it's quite a ridge at low, low tide of mud. You can see there it's cracked. It's um, starting to um, form up because it's out of the, the, the bay water. And uh, thus it cracks and uh, 
dries out.